Alright, Shalom. First off, we want to start by giving all praises to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Alright, double honors to our apostle elders of Great Millstone. Okay. Honors and salutations unto you, uh, sincere Akyan is preaching his word, sincerity and truth. Alright, Shalom to you, sincere believers and listeners thereof. Alright, this is a couple of brothers from the Great Millstone, San Francisco Barrier Camp, under Brother Yari Ala. I'm Shamar. Kanak. Matzak. Yeah, so we're on, we're on our way to uh, to camp, you know. So um, through the spirit, you know, uh, we're just we're just gonna run a um, a, a lesson that that sparked through uh, our spiritual conversation we were having. All right, you know, and, and somewhere around the theme of this lesson uh, is gonna be um, titled, you know, you you Babylonians. Are, um, are in Disney, are, you, you Babylonians are living in Disneyland, you know? Right. All right? Because it's, big, it's bigger, we were talking about these people, okay, uh, feet into going to Disneyland. I believe, what, they have two Disneylands? The Disneyland know? and the Disney World. Okay, well, okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, so see, that's that's crazy, all right? And you know, you, you have, when you're, when you're a child, okay, you have what, uh, Disney Channel, which what everybody learns about was brought, uh, um, the founder, the so-called founder was what, Walt Disney, which when you look into it, through the spirit, man, he, he could have been a, 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 a Amalekite, all right? More I, times than not, he probably was, yeah, you know? Yeah, I didn't look deep into that devil's uh, uh, history, you know? I, I would believe him to be, though. Yet, um, all right, uh, uh, we were, we, were, we were saying, man, he was a high-level warlock, a witch, okay? A demon that these people feed into it to this day. And a lot of Jake's been fucked up when you watch, like, that's why you got people like Raven Simone, all right? Orlando Brown, bugged out, totally through, all right? A lot of the children, they get they get bred up and what? And, 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 and um, uh, molested, mm -hmm. okay? And worshiped to the spiritual demon Satan, okay? And then when you look into the, the shows and whatnot, they got a lot of uh, uh, demonic symbols mm -hmm. and, and hidden symbols behind it. And it's nothing but lies and fairy tales involved in it. It's nothing but but, but childish childish uh, storytellings, man. All right? You know? Fairy tales, all right? In which these people, you people, you're bred up. You're, you, you grow up watching that shit. They got Disney Channel to this very day, all right? They had it way back in the day with... Uh, uh, was it Disney, uh, uh, Mickey House, Clubhouse or some shit? Right, Mickey's Clubhouse. Clubhouse, it was black and white. <laughs> yeah, Justin Timberlake, all these motherfuckers, man, young. All right, yet, yeah. to this very day, you grow up off that, all right, feeding into that, and you people still live in that in that world. You're grown-ass kids. Okay. In fairyland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Brother, that, um... Yeah, guys, uh, this is Isaiah chapter 19, verse 3. Yeah. The spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof, and they shall seek to their idols and to the charmers, and to them that have familiar spirits and wizards. Yeah, that's right. That's what that's what Esau had been seeking to, all right, because he, he counsels with the spiritual demon Satan, all right? You know, and that's why, what, he presses out. Nothing but, uh, 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 but but demons, really. All right. Nothing but wickedness. Okay. Symbolisms are right, which we we're going to um, um, within the, uh, the little shows and whatnot within the Disney and just different movies and with uh, uh, in general different do music. All right. He presses out different vibrations. Okay. He summons different spirits. All right. And he, he calls you people to cast those spirits upon yourselves. Okay. By repeating it. By feeding on to it, all right. By taking heed unto it, you know. And he tells you what? Hey, embrace those feelings. Yeah. You know, believe in it. You was gonna say something, brother? Yeah, I was gonna say uh, because this devil is a high-level warlock. When we speaking about these elites that run run the show behind the scenes, so to speak, the man behind the curtain, so to speak, and what they do is. They know that the spiritual demon Satan works on the left-hand side in, in the spiritual world, so they channel up these demons by pushing different vibrations on the people. You might have the symbol of the pyramid, like you, you, for, for instance, you have the symbol of the pyramid on the back of your, uh, your dollar bill. You have the symbol of the, um, the obelisk over there in Washington, D.C. 
and they said uh, the lay, um, the foundation that Washington D.C. sits on is in the shape of uh, Molak, the owl of Molak. So what Esau is doing is he's channeling, channeling these demons to, um, to hop on people and for people to accept these demons, you know? Yep. That's why he's pushing this homosexual agenda throughout the four corners of the earth because that's the actual demon that hops on these people, you know? Mm -hmm. And people will accept it. And he, he pushes the fact to embrace those feelings. All those feelings are demons, you know? Yep. You got that's it, right? That's right. I can, I can tell you it's wrong. Okay. Isaiah 19. And three, and Egypt, and the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof. Yeah, and in, in, in this place, uh, spiritually, uh, matter of fact, I'll pull it out, um, Revelation 11 and 8. You know, this is spiritually Egypt and Sodom. All right? This is uh, Revelation 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. And that's why it's called spiritually Sodom and Egypt because it, it follows the uh, the same same things that they did as far as Sodom. They got sodomy going on out here. All right, all manners of, of perverseness as far as that goes. And then Egypt, as far as all these the um, symbolism and, and the demons they worship. All right, like your brother was mentioning, you got the dollar. All right, these the symbolism everywhere on your car symbol, the clothing lines, the TV shows. All right, everywhere you, it's literally everywhere you look. That's how that's how um, in tune Esau is trying to be with this, this, um, these demonic spirits. Yeah. Every single thing that he makes, it starts out with a, a wicked foundation. Just like our foundation that we're built up upon is a, a righteous foundation. His is a wicked one. Yeah. Because I had this book. I had a book. Well, I once had a book called um, Codex Magica. Pretty much, it gets into Esau's symbolism and how everywhere you go, everywhere you look, his symbolism is everywhere. You know. From, from your shoes that you wear, the Nike symbol, I believe, then the check mark goes back to the ring of Saturn, to the Adidas symbol that goes back to the pyramid, you know, to the um, Toyota symbol, that's just a, a stylized, um, um, all seeing eye, you know? So actually, they, these companies and everything, they know that in order to uh, be successful in, in a world of wickedness, you have to carry that vibration. And they showed you that in that movie, um, what's it called, Branded? Yeah. They showed you that the, um, Behind the um, the scenes, the, the spiritual world is controlling the physical world, you know? Yep. So that these demons operate through these symbols. And they showed you that in the movie. That's a good movie for, for brothers to look into. It's called Branded, you know? They actually show you the demon that be on people to make them want to do certain things yep. that they're doing, in the, like the brother was saying, in the physical world. Mm -hmm. You might have a demon on you to go eat. You got to have demons on you to go eat McDonald's, yeah. Wendy's. Mm -hmm. All right, all that garbage food, eat, eating a, a death life, eating a, a death dot type of diet, all right, that ki literally kills you. You got to have demons on you to, in order to do that. If I can say, uh, uh, Salak, on a spirit, <laughs> if I can say something just to add on to what you're saying, yeah, you got to have demons to, uh, to you know, to actually partake in all these things like the brother's going through. And how, how does these people get these demons on them? Well, through Esau, through his witchcraft, and that's what we're going into. And at Disneyland, we were talking about earlier, that's just, that's, that is nothing but uh, witchcraft, you know, sorcery, you know, from hidden, uh, hidden symbolism to, uh, to, you know, um, sexual undertones, you know, uh, for children. Okay. There's a, there's a homosexual agenda that's pushed. So at all times, uh, uh of your life, you're being hit, uh, which, which witchcraft you're being, uh, presented with uh, an alternate way of living or alternate way of thinking, which diverts your mind and makes you uh, put, it puts demons on you to eat uh, McDonald's, to eat Burger King, you know, uh, to, to destroy your body, put tattoos all over your body, okay, to, uh, you know, put piercings all over your body, you know, ultimately to live a deaf lifestyle. You know, what, what the brother, he uh, mentioned the SAD diet, which is the standard American diet, that diet puts demons on you. Okay. Because it's full of witchcraft, you know, uh, it's full of uh, chemicals, yep. pharmacia, you know. The same drugs that you see people on the side of the street uh, uh, shooting up is the same drugs in your food. They're, they're just at micro levels, okay? You're just uh, getting micro dose with opioids, with different fentanyls, you know, and this, and this is coming out. Uh, that was it on that. I had a precept, but I, I, I'm gonna look for it while you brothers keep. Yeah, I got a precept too, uh, real fast. This um, Proverbs 12 and, um, and 26. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduces them. Yeah, and the, the 
because like the brother was saying, the reason that these people do all these things is because it goes back to you right here for Edomites, you put pushing that vibration on the people to do it. Yeah. You throw you throw the symbol, um, you throw the uh, idea out there in their face every single day. You got the McDonald's commercials always popping up. You know, people look up to basketball players or a musician or something. The people they idolize. You got commercials with them eating McDonald's and shit. Knowing damn well they don't eat that. How are you gonna eat McDonald's and actually go play basketball hooping? Running, running back and forth or playing soccer, you know, running around, doing all this stuff. You ain't doing all that really, man, realistically. But he knows that that that's like that, going back to that Satanism, all right, that sim symbolism in the, as uh, far as like, you see your person, him eating it, like, man, that gotta be good for you because he eating it. Uh -huh. And that's what, that's what these Ray Eat and Mice push, man. They, they, they seduce you, they seduce you with it by putting it in your face all the time, mm -hmm. making make it appealing or appeasing to your eyes and your flesh. And there's no repercussions. That there's a happy that there, there's a happy ending. You know, you can you can you can indulge in your own in your own lust, and, and, and there there's no uh, 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 how do you say repercussions for repercussions for your actions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then another point I want to make it even goes as far as the actual toys your children play with, mm -hmm. because um, what happened yep. years ago when I was about ten years old, the, the guy that um, the former where the brothers were speaking about him a lot, the guy that formed was a, um, one of the creators of the ship. His name was Dr. Carl Sanders. He was doing like a world tour, going to different churches, speaking. So at the age of 10, I happened to be at the church over there in Oakland that he was speaking at, and I, I was hearing him in person, you know, in the spirit, speak about the ship. So, you know, he brought out how he was one of the founders of the ship and how the elites had set him up, you know, they spent years in trying to develop the ship. But another point he was getting into is he like, he was like, folks, there's something about the troll dolls they don't want you to know. Because at that time, was a, this is a popular doll that the kids would play with called the troll dolls, you know. He's like, there's something that they don't want you to know about these troll dolls, but buy my tapes and I will, you know, he was trying to make money. But, I, you know, as you grow in this truth, I realized, I, you know, I started doing some research. The troll dolls are actually actual demons. Because what Esau do, he'll conjure up these demons on the left-hand side because he can actually physically see them. And then he'll make um, toys out of them to get your children familiar with them, you know? The troll dolls. Uh, what's another one? E.T. The, the movie E.T., the extraterrestrial. That's the actual demon, you know? So he, he, he puts it out there in his media to get you familiar with these demons on the, on the left-hand side as far as, you know, being norm, something normal. What's that, the movie The Gremlins? Those are demons, you know? So this is a man that deals in witchcraft. I have a precept real quick. Yeah, okay. yeah. Nahum 3 and 4, because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the world favorite harlot, the mistress of witchcrafts. Yeah, let's talk about here in Babylon, all right? This is the harlot. This place was established by witchcraft, all right? The four founding homosexual sodomite red Hebrew Edomites, all right? That you that you reverence, okay? And put in place on your dollar bills and in your history, statues of... All right, they were they were Freemasons, man. They were there was oh, they were witches. Okay, this place was established through, through witchcraft. All right, and through blood sacrifice to the Israelites. All right, if you really want to get uh, deep into it, man. All right, this this place was built through nothing but wickedness. All right, and witchcraft. That's why Esau has certain like you was speaking about earlier. That's why he has a uh, 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 DC. All right, the uh, um, the White House in a certain place. You know, he has things in certain places at certain measurements all right yeah. at certain volumes okay certain numbers certain tones certain vibrations man yeah. because he knows how vibration works and they yep. call it i believe they call it um landlines mm -hmm. there's certain position on the earth where the energy is more powerful than others that's why everybody's fighting over that land um our land our home and the land of israel that's the most powerful vib um, vibration on the earth and they know it. that's why that's why the most size said that's his favorite part of the land so that's why they, they want control of that land but esau knows certain there's certain power points on the earth where, uh, where demons um they call it like portals so to speak where demons can flow through you know yeah, yeah the scriptures say ezekiel the 28th chapter how uh that are wiser than Daniel. Yep. Uh, Esau Edom is wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from me. Because you go deep, deep into uh, the sciences, but you use those for uh, you use those for the left hand side. You know, it says the mistress of witchcrafts that sell of nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcraft. Yeah, and, and, and a lot of um, all these heathen nations have bought into uh, the uh, the Babylon Babylonianization. Uh, uh, doctrine, all right, that wine, 
That's why it says in Jeremiah the fifty first chapter. John, man. John, John. All I was right. going green out of spirit. Hey, look, that's the spirit, man. You know, Lord's will. You can bring that out. All right. Hey, hey. They're, they, me, you think Disney, Disneyland, and Disney channels. All right. All the, the cartoons and, 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 and inspirations and whatnot. It, it reached out to those other countries as well, man. Those other, those other uh, nations. All right. You know. But yet, it was filled with nothing but wickedness. It was nothing but deceit. All right. Little cartoons, little, little, little drawings, little dry humors. All right. Hey, nothing but it was clothed. It was wickedness clothed up. You know. You got it, brother. Yep. It says, and I will cast abominable filth upon thee, a slakim. Slakim. Let me skip the verse. Uh, verse five. Behold, I am against thee, said the Lord of hosts. I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will show the nations thy nakedness, and the kingdoms thy shame. Yep. Hey, now, now the Lord is 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 um um exposing you, showing every every pretty much pulling out pulling pulling a rug up, pulling up the skirt, so to speak, mm -hmm. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I can say this, yeah, uh, the Lord, He's uh, uncovering, yep. you know, uh, what Esau really is about. That this place is full of what lies and witchcraft. And and now the the nations are mad. Well, Jeremiah fifty one, you know, because they they were forced. All oh, the spirit, can you get uh, two and fifteen? Okay. Have a good tour. Yeah, I got it right here. Okay. This Habakkuk chapter 2 and 15. This is why. Get yeah, a spirit. Go ahead. <laughs> Woe unto him that giveth his neighbor drink, and that putteth thy bottle to him that maketh him. It's like it says, that putteth thy bottle to him and maketh him drunken yeah, also. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, the so called white man, Rahib Edomite, he went around the whole world forcing the other nations to drink of his witchcraft. That's part of his doctrine, his philosophy. Yep. And then he got everybody drunk. And then he's all, look, look at you, especially the Israelites. He got them drunk. Jake got super drunk off of those off of those philosophies, yep. you know. So he he fed them nothing but witchcraft. So uh, uh, that's it on that verse. Yeah, it's a little bit. Um, okay, a little bit more. It says that put us by bottle to him and make us him drunken, that thou mayest look on their nakedness. Yeah, it says woe to them that give his neighbor drink. Now go to uh, Bible Kushal, Jeremiah fifty one. Yeah. If, if I may continue. Go on. Oh says, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the spirit. It's gonna go into it. Thou art filled with shame for glory. Mm -hmm. Drink thou also, and let thy foreskin be uncovered. Yes, yeah, many scriptures speaking about Esau going to drink of that cup. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, was that Jeremiah forty nine and twelve? Mm -hmm. Yep. You you you're gonna surely drink of that cup. You're gonna see all the things that you have set up to be uh, snares unto the children of Israel. Okay. Uh, snares unto the world. You're gonna fall into all those snares, and that's part of your witchcraft. Okay. Go ahead. The cup of the Lord's right hand. Shall be turned unto thee. Now that that cup is going to be turned unto you. That righteous uh, anger, mm. the indignation. Look what you have done to the planet Earth. Look look at the city of San Francisco. This is just a a, a cesspool of wickedness. Yeah. Well, it says it tells you in Second Ezra the fifteenth chapter that the Earth is um it is exceedingly wicked. Yep. You know. Because of everything that's going on. All right. You got just abominations everywhere. Ready to eat a mite. He just running rampant. Doing whatever you want to do, raping little children. Yeah. Go ahead. And shameful spewing shall be on thy glory. So we're in the process of the, the Red Heap Edomites' uh, uh, shameful spewings being placed upon their glory because they have fed the whole world this Babylonian juice. As a spirit, I was just you know I just thought about that movie, uh, The uh, Wizard of Oz. Mm -hmm. It was nothing but witchcraft. But what happened at the end? And Esau got discovered. It was nothing but a fucking oh shriveled up devil, a loser. All uh, right, and that ain't nothing but it is today. A uh, uh, red Hebrew Edomite, Amalekite. All right, yep. a piece of shit loser. Yeah, that's that's only that's 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 really a die a e a red Hebrew Edomite is a dying breed. All right, it, it, it's, it, he, he's 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 a dying breed, man. After a thousand years of slavery, he's going to be extinct. Mm -hmm. He's over here trying to exterminate everybody. And every 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 creature, the whole time, man, you a dying breed, your goddamn self. Well, don't worry. In the kingdom of heaven, we gonna we gonna bring your numbers up. Oh yeah, for sure. We are gonna bring your numbers up, so you have we have a whole bunch of slaves, yeah. and then we gonna exterminate them. Yeah. Probably getting off on uh, Jeremiah uh, fifty one and uh, uh seven. Yeah, he saw. Yeah. He uh he pretty much forced everybody to drink of that cup. You know, he forced everybody to to participate. And uh, and witchcrafts, fucking bug outs, man. Dumbass. You're going the wrong way. 
Yeah, but this is part of this is part of this confusion. At any given time, you just get on the street, get hit by a car, okay? It's a car flip, you get injured, you know? Yeah, this place is gone. Yeah. This Three. place is done. Go ahead. Jeremiah 51 and 7, Babylon has been a golden cup in the Go Lord's hand. Yeah, Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand, okay? Go ahead, this golden city. It says that made all the earth drunken. See, that made all the earth drunken because wickedness, where does wickedness uh, proliferate out of? Uh, here in America. This is the main source of where wickedness is uh, coming out of. Because <coughs> America's influence is uh, spread across the whole planet Earth. Mm -hmm. Okay? Well, everybody there. Everybody learns English. Yeah. That goes to show you right there. That's the um, that's the language of business. Okay, if you want to if you want to uh, do business, uh, what do you do? Yeah, it's bug outs. What do you do? You you have to learn English. People want to come. All these nations that come over to America. You don't have. You know what American growing up? What Jake growing up said? Oh, you know I want to go to China because there's opportunity out there. No. What do you do? You come to America because there's so-called opportunity. Okay, so America's influence is throughout the whole world. Go ahead. It says the nations. It says the. It says the Lord have. It's like it says the Babylon have been the golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Uh huh. Therefore, the nations are mad. Yeah, the nations are mad. Well, you know what? Let's let's wrap up on um, Revelation 17. Hmm. Yeah, the nations are bugged out. You know. Even even your own Edomite nations, yep. they're gonna. It's gonna get so hot that they're gonna shoot missiles on you. Okay. Because hey, everybody getting it. We're just gonna start off with, with that Disneyland. You open up to me, Disney World. Hey, all all mm. different nations from all across the world come and travel just to go there and mm -hmm. visit to give into that to that to that 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 uh, uh, um, that fairy tale. You know, which is ultimately the the, uh, the wicked ass wine of, of Babylon. Of, of, of Esau. Yep. You know? Mm -hmm. Really, every hey, and, and yet, they're starting, these people, and they have given unto it. Now, what? They're starting to wake up to it, and what? Now they're they're upset. Yeah, they got an incurable uh, wound. You know, Esau gave them this wine, and then they kept going back to the doctor, getting, you know, uh, hungover pills and yep. nauseous pills, and they like, hey, I got this, this hurt when I was drinking your wine. Nah, don't worry about it. Here, I'm going to give you this pill. Yep. And then what, what's happening is all those drugs are wearing off. Good. And now, and now, there's no healing ointment. So now, what is a nation going to do? Go ahead, read that, Bubba Kusha, brother. This is Revelation chapter 17, verse 16. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked. Yeah, these that's the NATO and the EU upon what America. Okay, this whole Roman-like uh, society, which America is just a revitalized Roman Empire coming back, and these other nations. Uh, these other nations, uh, the EU, NATO, these different European nations, Edomite, uh, Hebrew Edomite nations. Go ahead. It says, and shall make, and shall make. Hey, read that from the top again, Bubba Kusha. Revelation 17 and 16, and the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore. See, they're going to hate you. Because they also drunken of that wine too. And that's going to mess up. Their, well, they're, that is messing the society. Look at Brexit. Look how much intervention uh, the so-called white man here in America has over there in Europe. To the point to where them Europeans, they hate you. Okay? They call you stupid Americans. And they're not talking about Jake, okay? They're talking about you Edomite. Oh, them Russian Edomites, they hate you. Oh, but I was watching a documentary, or it was more, more so of a video of like, a, you know, a Russian everyday people, you know, their message to America. And they were pretty much saying, hey, man, don't mess with us. But he was like, you know what? Hey, you blacks, you black, you black people, you're good. You're all right. <laughs> then he said... Don't F my wife, though, you know, because <laughs> they know Jake. They know, you know, they know the spirit of Jake. All Jake want to do is just deal with women, be chill, be cool. It says that Jacob was a plain man, I meaning he was upright. You know, he was he was he was uh, uh, based and plain also. Yeah. And, every, and naturally, everything gravitates to Jake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's the former of all things. It says in the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast. These shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Said for the most I have put it in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and and give their kingdom unto the beast until the word of the most I shall be fulfilled. Yeah, so they're, they, they, they're going to see that they've been bamboozled. It's going to get crazy, man. It's going to get crazy. You're going to really see these other different European nations turn on America and people are going to bug out.
You know, people are really going to be like, man, what's, what's really going on? Or like those um, those drills over there in L.A. Yep. Mm-hmm. People bugged out. Yep. All right. Uh, you got helicopters, combat helicopters, uh, 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 um, you know, um, landing in, in, in a regular street. Just say if, if a, cop, a helicopter landed on, on the main street mission or something, you know. Man, people will bug out. So that's how it's going to be. You know, even on a, even on a higher level, it tells you that in um, Isaiah 13 chapter. Mm. Okay, how uh, men's hearts fell in themselves. You know, and also, um, yeah, that, that, you know, we don't got to get it. But basically, you people are going to be astonished in that day. You know, when those nuclear missiles get shot off by your your allies. So, you know, I just, you know, that, that was it. Any brothers want, wanted to say anything? Nah. Hey, man, you know, death to Babylon. Death, death to you, all you Americans. Death to you red Hebrew Edomites, death yeah. to the nigger woman, death yeah. to two-thirds of you niggas. Death to Disneyland. Right. Death to Disneyland and that spirit of Disneyland. Because yeah. that spirit of Disneyland is uh, is very uh, prevalent okay. and it circulates. Well, that's one of the foundations of America. That's straight up. You know, you come to America, you go to Disneyland, you get a, you get your, uh, a hot dog, you go to a baseball game, mm-hmm. okay? And then you, then you yeah, that's, that's it on that, man. You know, yeah. just pretty much, we don't even want to go into a lot of things we don't even say. So with that, we want to say uh, shalom to the elect. Shalom to the elect. Shalom.